downtown Jacksonville, Florida. 2018 Ace Sun Baseball Championships on the campus of the University of North Florida and Armand Stadium. Number one seed Stetson, number two seed Jacksonville. Been looking for Jacob Coos all tournament long. Finally found him, a triple. Made it four to nothing Stetson early on in the ball game. And then what would the Hatters do? What they always do, they rely on their starting pitching. And it was Perkins, it was fantastic. It was strike out. Jacksonville hitter after Jacksonville hitter. Gave up one run of the six, got knocked around a little bit in the eighth inning. That single right there. Plating a run, Camacho with another base hit to left. Plating another run of the eighth. It would be six to three as we headed to the ninth inning. And then Jacksonville would mount a charge and Ishko was able to get out of that eighth inning. But the Dolphins with the rally caps. And then it began, Gardicioni followed up by Fernandez. And then Samayan with a base hit up the middle would play two runs. And then DeBrule would drive in two more. That would give Jacksonville the lead at eight to six, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Their ace closer on the mound. What do you think would happen? Well, Coos would show back up. Jacob Coos with an RBI single to left. And that would tie the ball game. And then it would be Jorge Arenas with a game winner. And the celebration would ensue. The Hatters are on to the championship on Saturday, awaiting their opponent. A game to be played later in the day. Game number two of the afternoon, an elimination affair. And the Lipscomb Bisons would threaten early on against the number four seed North Florida Ospreys. That's Jeffrey Chrisan with a double, but the defense would get the best of the Bisons. Here's Tanner Murphy robbing Simonette of a would-be home run. Let's get to some offense, shall we? Here comes North Florida. Dalton Board driving in a pair of runs to give North Florida a 3-3 tie ball game with the Bisons. A back and forth battle would ensue throughout the afternoon. And in the late stages, it's Jeffrey Cruzan. He hits it, he knows it. In the seventh inning to cap off a three run inning, give the Bisons back a 6-3 lead. Slap the belly one more time, big fella. His eighth college home run of the season. But the comeback in full swing, four run score, including these two on Tanner Murphy's two run dribbling single through the left side. And within a lead late, the North Florida Ospreys live to play one more game. They would wait about an hour before starting the third game of the day and a chance to get into the championship. That would bring us to the final game of the day and one of these two teams, Jacksonville, North Florida, hoping to dance their way in to a championship matchup against Stetson on Saturday. And it would be pitching early on. Matt Myers' first start of the year was really good for Jacksonville. Evan Machillis was just as good for North Florida, but then it was Matthias, a home run that he hit in the fifth inning, his second of the year. And North Florida would grab an early lead. A flare to right off the bat of Murphy would then make it three to one as Barry would cross home plate. And then a wild pitch after an error allowed Camacho to reach. An error would allow, uh, the wild pitch would allow him to score in the sixth. But in the eighth inning, base is loaded and it would be Blake Boyles, a double down the left field line, scoring three Ospreys. And the lead would balloon to six to two. And then, after a little shimmy and a little shake, a ground ball back to the pitcher. Trey Snorkis, an underhand to first. And Blake Boyles and his team will celebrate a 6-2 win over Jacksonville. And they are on to the championship round tomorrow. They will take on Stetson at 1 o'clock as we take a look at the bracket and how we have wrapped up day number three. We have seen all sorts of different types of baseball in every game on day three very close. We expect the final between UNF and Stetson tomorrow at 1 p.m. to be just as fun. My partner said it, 1 o'clock tomorrow, a game between the Stetson Hatters and the North Florida Ospreys here in Jacksonville on ESPN+. Plus.